best ways to promote your WooCommerce products is to list your products in the large online marketplaces. But uploading your product data there seems pretty difficult, right? But not anymore. Hey everyone, I am Sadia from Product Feed Manager and in today's video, I am going to show you how within just a few clicks, you can accurately generate a product feed for your preferred margins. Now, to do this, you need the plugin Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. It helps you to prepare your product listings in the right format so that you can just upload them on your preferred margins and start making more sales. Let's look at how it works. I am on the dashboard now and I have already installed the product feed manager plugin and activated it. So to generate a product feed, just hover on product feed and click on add new feed option. Firstly, you need to enter a feed title here. Now from this drop down, you need to select your merchant where you want to promote your products on. Let's say Facebook. So once you have selected it, you will see a list of record attributes will appear below. Now these are all the data that Facebook requires you to submit when uploading your products there for promotion. As you can see, almost everything is already configured. All you need to do is to assign values to any unmapped attributes with the right product data. For example, the manufacturer brand. Now this should be your brand name. So if you have any brand value saved for your products on your store, you can simply choose this field from this drop down menu. But if you are the sole manufacturer, you can choose this option as static and enter your company name here. Alright? You can see this category field is also empty. You can use our category mapping feature to map the right categories for Facebook. I have already created one so I'm just gonna select it from this drop down under the category map. But I'll show you how to use category mapping in a future video. You can also add new attribute or add any custom attribute using these options. So once you have mapped all the values to the right attributes, your feed is pretty much ready. Now the settings for most of the merchants is normally pre-configured but you can always use them if you need to. You can see some filter options from here. Okay. You can also find few other feed options from here. For now let's leave them as it is. I'll demonstrate their use in a later video. Right now just click on the publish button. And it will take few time to load. So once the loading is done, your feed is ready. See? You can now download the feed, copy the feed link and view the feed from here. Let's have a look. So that's it. Now the next step is to upload this feed on your Facebook Commerce Center and start selling or promoting your products there. Now that you have seen how it took me less than 5 minutes to generate a product feed for Facebook. So what are you waiting for? Start using Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce now.